Telcom Business, behind South African businesses' drive to thrive. They say in business, cash flow is a reality. The question though is, are SMEs good at keeping track of their cash? How long and how well? Welcome to the Entrepreneurial SME and I'm your host, Rems Mabote with a squeaky voice. This week we pay special attention to accountancy for small business owners. And if there's danger with handling your own bookkeeping as an entrepreneur. Joining me to discuss this is Sivenati Sipaka, CFOO and co-founder of SM Tax, which is an accounting, tax and advisory firm that is at the forefront of the 4IR four, four era in the finance. And also in studio with me, Nicholas Van Veek, CEO of the Chartered Institute of Business Accountants. Thank you very much for the both of you for joining me. Sive, you are on uh, uh, Zoom, so we're going to speak to you via this medium. But I'm going to start with you, Nick, in studio here. How much of a factor is cash flow management or mismanagement? And is it a do or die in running a business? Yeah, cash is king. Uh, you cannot take uh, opportunities and negotiate discounts with suppliers, um, postpone the payment of creditors, or take new opportunities without cash. So in accounting, we talk about revenue, less expenses, gives you profit. Uh, but the main thing for an SME is managing your cash flow. Uh, with that cash flow, uh, you, can, you can plan ahead, you can change your business strategy. Uh, without cash flow, there's really nothing. So you only sit then with a piece of paper that really doesn't help. Uh, so we always say at SIBA, yeah, cash is king. <laughs> Sive, wh wh why do we get it wrong? If it's that obvious, why do we always get it wrong? So many of us get it wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a really good one. Um, you know, for small business owners, I myself um, am one starting that, right? It's quite tough to get a hold of uh, a couple of your finances. And with most people, they see their money in the back, and they so they are aware of their cash, they track it daily. I think the challenge is being able to figure out when must this cash move out of my bank account, and when must it come, when am I expecting it to come in? So I think the important thing is matching up, match up your outflow. You can expect to pay out at this time point with your inflow. This is when I expect to get money in. The more you work on that, to get that right, then it works. If you don't get that right, you are in trouble, you know? So I think it's about cash flow management. That is key for small businesses. Nicholas, most obvious and probably basic question, but very important. What are the most direst consequences, repercussions of not doing it right? Well, not keeping your accounting records will mean that at the end of the month or at the end of the week when you have to look at your business activities, you won't really know what, what you accomplished. Uh, are you moving in, a, in the right direction? Um, are you bleeding uh, expenses somewhere? Uh, and you won't know how to control. Uh, that's just on the decision making side. Uh, at the end of the year, if you didn't keep your accounting records properly, you're going to get into trouble with the South African Revenue Service. Uh, and uh, that's one of the government agencies that you don't want to play with. You need to, to speak early with an expert, uh, even on something small like, like that. Um, uh, entrepreneurs will know that there's various taxes that you have to pay, from taxes on your revenue, which is VAT, uh, to taxes on your net profit, which is more income tax. Um, but these things are sometimes determined by thresholds. And if you get those thresholds wrong, you might get a very nasty surprise at the end of the year when you have to submit your, your tax re records. If you don't keep uh, proper invoicing and proof of expenses, then SARS might decide not to allow your deductions as, ta as tax deductions, mm. which means basically you're going to pay a lot more tax than, than you should be. Sive, I know I'm playing into your hands when I ask this question. Should we outsource or could we do some of this work internally? Like, you know, the thing with small business owners is they are busy. They are the busiest people you can imagine in the world. Um, I work with these uh, ladies and gents daily, um, and their job is to run a business to, to earn that revenue. And they run around, they have stuff over time, and they grow, but they cannot do basic admin. So their time is most valuable 
to the business and they must spend it earning revenue, building relationships, networking, and that kind of thing. So definitely outsource it, you know, uh, and these days with the software that's available, it can automate a lot of the work and get it done for you while you're out on the job, you know, uh, earning that money. And so ultimately, yes, please outsource your bookkeeping. It is a nightmare if you don't. All of it? I know that. Outsource A to Z uh, of, of to accounting or some parts of it? To, some ex to a large extent, uh, you can still keep control, you know, with a lot of the systems. You can share access to your bookkeepers, whoever's helping with admin. But try to ensure that the reporting of receipts and capturing of invoices, that happens automatically if you can code it into your system. But also, um, also some of it if you need help tracking these things. Uh, but there is some you can do on your side. You can have a mobile app on your phone. You can capture receipts as you go. So there is a lot you can do yourself as you go and move with the business if you use the latest systems. Um, but I want to say get help sooner. And if, if they don't, right, if, if part, of, part <laughs> of the thing, Nicholas, is that people feel it's expensive. Mm. You know, Siva just spoke about uh, an entrepreneur does everything. They work hard. They do mm. everything. They like to take some money home. And when I think of outsourcing it to Siva, I'm thinking, I'm giving a part of the money I work so much for. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I can understand why people would, would think that way. Uh, but it's like insurance. If you, if you don't have insurance and your car gets into an accident, then you have to replace the whole asset and you don't have funding for that. Uh, so in the same way, they should think of accountants and tax practitioners as the insurance. Uh, it protects them from Nazi surprises from SARS. Uh, it helps them set up their systems uh, so that they can make better decisions. Uh, so uh, whatever the accountant charts, it, it won't be enough representing in the value that they offer. Uh, but it's more than just accounting. You need a, a partner in the business that you can speak with, that you can ask guidance from. And because accountants work with so many businesses, uh, they've seen um, examples of your businesses in the past. So they can really guide you in, in the right direction. Sometimes I'm told they can guide you to close your business, but don't answer that. It's a rhetorical question. <laughs> We're going to take a break. When we come back, we continue this conversation.